One of the unique features of life in Cape Town is the cart horse community. These horses and their owners date back many years as they hawked fish, fruit and vegetables and collected bottles and bones, all in support to maintain a living for the families of these horses. This continues today in some areas of the Cape Flats, but the loads on the carts have changed. And today, there is an organization that specially looks after the well-being of these cart horses. They support the owners and look after all the welfare issues prevalent in the industry. Cape Town has got a very rich history of horses. It's, it's a cultural thing. Um, even from the years of District 6, before the forceful removal, many of those people were involved with horses and they did municipality work, they did the council work with the horses. And then of course they were removed unfortunately from District 6 and that is where the Cape Flats were formed. And, then there was not enough work and that is why they started to use their horses to generate the income to collect scrap. Um, and about 23 years ago, a couple of ladies, they were driving around and they saw these horses looking in horrendous state. Feet are terrible, not properly fed, you know, very thin, bad harnesses, bad carts. And they started this organization from a boot of a car. And then eventually they got a farrier in to help with the assistance of the feet and the shoes. And that's eventually how we started. When people today, when the people see the horses on the road, they obviously it's, it's a nuisance. They go up in arms because how can horses work between traffic? But these horses are so bomb proof, so to speak. They're very used to traffic. It's not the ideal, but that is also one of our biggest problems is that they don't obey the traffic rules, but neither do are they respected by other um, um, motorists and, and, and trucks and buses? And that is one of our problems. A lot of MVAs, motor vehicle accidents, where they, where, where they get hit, the horses get hit, either by the fault of the driver or the fault of the motorist. Um, and uh, then, of course, the, in general, the abuse of the horses, you know, the beating of the horses, not feeding enough. Uh, many years ago it was much worse, but through education it has improved. Today we will see the youngsters coming in that has not had that in enough education. They still will beat, they still will overload, put too much uh, scrap on a cart for, for a horse to pull, which is obviously abuse, put backyard shoeing on, um, not, you know, even dirty stables would be considered as abuse. The horses come from 21 different areas on the Cape Flats, where the carts on a daily basis collect scrap metal and or garden refuse and rubble, which generates an income for themselves and their families. My pet's name is Violet, and our work for us is loving for the ice. We have a tak, a sack, and we have to get a lot of money for her and for me and my family. And I have seven pets. Amal work so, in careers, I work in the other way. So, I can do it again. Um, for us, cost of it all, what is it in value? The Cart Horse Protection Association take a holistic view on the welfare of the horses. They are here to stay, and they see their role as one that reduces the risk of the horses' welfare being compromised. My main role is to see that the horses is been shot properly, shoes put on and also to make sure the harness has been fixed and the carts has been fixed all up to standard. I also make sure that the savings and all the other stock that we have to provide for the cart horses is on the premises. I've been working here now for 16 years, so I know about the ins and outs of the industry. So that's why it makes it easier for me to speak to the guys and speak to the owners and also advise them how to treat the horses in a proper manner. And the range of services the association provides is comprehensive. The clinic is a get-together place for every, every, everyone, for all the carters, owners and operators. Even if they don't need any services from the clinic, then they will just come to have a chat and to have a lots of laughter, etc. But the clinic is a service provider. You know, the horses get shot, not shot, but get shoes fitted by professional farriers. Um, harnesses are being fixed, cards are being fixed. They can buy subsidized feed. And if the horse is sick or lame, like this morning, we treat it on site here. 
if we can't do it here, if they phone us in and say, my horse is sick, my horse has got colic, then we obviously will, we go out. But we feel that the clinic is very important because a lot of education also takes place here and we can fix a lot of wrongs here at the clinics. The purchase of a working cart horse is a considerable capital investment for the owner, especially when they're already living on the breadline. Without the services provided by CHPA, the cart horse owners would not be able to afford feed, ferry and veterinary services. Oscar is a good cup here because on the place it was dear, but cart horse is good for us. I give it cheaper because what is now with the cost cup. Kato, dat is baie goed voor ons.